What is going on everybody? Welcome back to episode 3 of RTT Isla Man Ride on the Edge 3 career mode little four part mini series that we are doing today. We have a full course event to kick things off in uh, one of these rally style races here. We're just about ready to go and here we go. It's going to be one two three and we're racing here in uh another full course like i said circuit to kick off this episode last time out in uh episode two we did a full course race to end off the episode and it was pretty lengthy it took us a good 10 minutes or so uh but yeah it's uh an interesting game to play so far and i said that in episode two said that episode one gonna say in episode three uh it's interesting i'm certainly not very good at the game i don't know if i'm improving or not at this point uh, but we had our best finish in the last episode in the full circuit race, so that was pretty promising. Now we'll see what we can do in this one. Currently it says we're P1 based off our time, so that's pretty promising. However, due to the fact that it's a full circuit, we already know that we are going to be here for a hot minute to say the least, which means there's plenty of opportunity for myself to crash and have things go catastrophically wrong. Now, that would preferably not be uh, the actual outcome that we get here. One thing I wish this game did uh, better at is kind of explaining things to a casual player uh, who doesn't have basically any knowledge of this actual race other than hearing the name because that's kind of the situation I am in uh, of Isle of Man. I've heard about the race, you know, I know it's iconic, but I've never watched it, seen anything of it, um, and I don't know anything about the format and how everything works and whatnot leading up to it, and in my opinion, one of the things though this game does is it doesn't do a great job of kind of uh, telling you, kind of explaining to you, you know, what's going on. Because some races were on a grid, some races are like this, where it's rally style start, but it doesn't seem to really tell you, oh, well, there's our first big error so far, but it doesn't really kind of explain to you how everything really works. So I'd kind of like to have a better understanding of what in the world's going on, but uh, it doesn't seem to do a great job of that. That's kind of my, uh, oh, no. Alright, here we go. This is where things start to go wrong, huh? Uh, but that's my only gripe beside the, um, also the delay or the responsiveness of the analog stick and the lean on the bike just feels so slow and, uh, that's something I haven't gotten used to yet. Uh, you know, the only bike racing game I've really played outside of, well, now this is not the barrier, uh, but MotoGP and the responsiveness felt significantly better in that game. I'm actually passing somebody, let's go. We ran them down and, well, we ran them down and then I wrecked and then took them out in the process as well. So that's a bit awkward. We're still leading actually. So we're running the best time of anybody. We've crashed like three times now and we're still uh, top of the board currently now as we close in about the halfway point here. It is excruciatingly long now, five minutes in uh, and we're only halfway through this race now as we continue to try and close in on the finish and not make too many mistakes but at the same time you know it's working out pretty well we're looking good we're gonna probably get the victory here as long as i don't just botch anything at this point so i'm just kind of trying to play it a bit safe i say that and then you know that happens there uh so not ideal here we go for another overtake we're only in fourth now uh on the board so the ai have really kind of picked up their game lately here uh, as i am full beams flying through there oh good heavens that is so so sketchy now even in third person you really feel uh just how on edge this can kind of be at times it's absolutely insane i think i've said that every episode so far is insane what these these riders do what do you go with this view though uh oh oh my god the the sense of speed in this view is just is unmatched like unlike any other racing game i've ever played it's actually insane oh no that's gonna hurt yep Oh no, I'm choking right at the end again. Oh, it's such a going thing to do. There's no way. I ran top three all race long to in the final minute to drop down to eighth place. And that's probably, uh, there might be even time penalties. I don't know. No, it's going to be P8. Oh my goodness. Okay, it is difficult. You're, you can be running so good and then right at the end, it all falls apart. Here we go then, it's another rally style race. Let's try to not tote this time. I kind of like that idea. This one's a way shorter one. We actually have a, a short race now. Seven of 10, or sorry, seven of eight 
is what we are at here. So we've almost wrapped up everything now as we are on our way. Let's full beans this thing and send her, boys. Oh, maybe not. All right, let's calm down a little bit. I was getting a little bit too out of control, a little bit too rowdy, a little bit too excited uh, right there now as I'm getting a little bit of confidence built into me, as you can see. that I like seeing that white bar move that quick. I'm, I'm a bit concerned for the actual Isle of Man and how long we're going to actually be there for racing uh, as I feel like it's probably going to be like a 45-minute race. Already a quarter way through this one. I haven't really, uh, in terms of positions, gained anything yet. But I haven't made any uh, mistakes yet. So I'm hoping that it stays that way. And I think it's going to have to stay that way if I want to gain anything out of this. We are, surprisingly, not gaining anything right now. And I feel like I'm running, actually, for once. I'm running pretty good. And, and then uh, the time I'm running pretty good is where things don't seem to be uh, going in my favor. I've gained one position now about the halfway point. So P9. There's a bike up here that I could potentially pass as well i'm trying to push it pretty deep into the braking zone and just kind of see what i can you know get away with oh i shouldn't have done that huh i might save it no i'm not gonna save it yep of course of course oh this is a fun corner i like that that's that's my favorite corner in the whole game right there i mean you were full beans sailing it up in there and then you just kind of glide uh, through the left-hander now as we go down into the braking zone here and just kind of get back up Try to get through the gears and close in on that car up ahead car I'm so used to saying car on that bike up ahead and see what we can do here if we can get p9 be pretty happy I'm pretty surprised that we haven't been gaining any positions considering how much better of a run this has been compared to Any well, that's not gonna go well I actually made it through this corner for once Holy crap, we'll take that. Now let's just get through here. Yes. Now we're, we're making some progress now. Uh, that, that's how you don't get better. It's going to be dead last in the race. I mean, embarrassing. P10. Uh, but, you know what? We, we're, we're still making gains. I only, what, wrecked twice? I think so I can do record for myself. Uh, and you can see how far off we were there. Wait a minute. I'm a little bit confused here where it's, uh, how are we last when our time is the third best time of anybody? Is the game bugged? I don't know. I shouldn't be 10th. Look at the times right there. I ran a three minute, 20 second lap. That would put us third on the board. I think, I think we just got bugged by the game. So they're making us do two laps of racing in this one here now we're underway and i've been skipping qualifying uh, in terms of the video i haven't been making you guys sit through that uh, i don't feel like you guys want to sit through it at this point now i think i showed up what episode one and two and whatnot and even uh did i do it in this episode i don't think i did i think we just did the, the races so far that i've shown but nonetheless great start it's a two lap race so uh, it'll be interesting to see how long this one takes. It's a full circuit, but it didn't seem like it was a very lengthy circuit. But my guess is the fact that it's going to give us two laps is, well, that's what's going to really make it uh, a bit lengthy here. But we're still trying to win. Uh, and I think we can do that. I don't want to have to save my winning until the actual Isle of Man. But I mean, if, if, that's, if that's what it takes... That's what it takes. Of course, my bike is currently flying, and now it's ghost riding, and now down to dead last we go. Thank you for that position, sir. I will say, you know, uh, if you are, this has got to be the most challenging racing game I've ever played. Uh, I have this on beginner level uh, in terms of, like, the physics and whatnot and the handling and stuff. And I got to say, if you are a very casual racing game player, good luck. Uh, I, one thing I will say, in my personal opinion, fun game. Really, it is fun to play. But this game, uh, definitely, like, the more I play it, the real, more I realize it definitely is not very good at um, being accessible to all types of uh, players. If you're really good at bike games, you're probably going to come in here and, and be okay. Uh, but if you are a very casual racing game player and have especially have zero bike uh, experience, good luck. It's going to be extremely difficult. And I think that's definitely... Like one thing I think where they need to kind of improve on is is getting to a point where just about anybody can pick up their game uh, and and be able to actually have a you know a fairly competitive time. Now obviously you can turn the AI significantly far down, but what's the fun of that? Here we go, a couple more spots gained right there. I want to win this thing, boys. I, I'm gonna win a race at some point, and I think today is gonna be the day right here. I'm gonna go to the right side. Boom. Boom, up into third place. Go for second place here momentarily on Ian Hutchinson. Thank you very much. That's my position. We're not even done the first lap yet. 
No, no, yep, 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 yep. We have a whole lap still. I'm not concerned. We have a lot of time here. It's going to be about a six-minute race, it looks like. So, plenty of time to make things happen. Now, we're coming through to end this first lap, it looks like. Huh. I'm just now realizing. Huh. I'm just now realizing that white bar, that's for one lap, not for the whole race. Oh, my goodness. I tell you what, that's one thing that grinds my gears how long these races are I say they're long but they're not crazy long uh, but when you're kind of grinding out something on this game it feels like it takes forever all right one lap down boys we got one whole lap to go still we are way behind but I am going to keep hope 25 seconds we can make up 25 seconds I actually see some human life I have actually run down somebody. I'm going for a move. That's for P9. We've actually run some bikes down. There's a good chunk of bikes right here, actually, too. Okay, now it's crucial to not hit any... Oh, I swear. Okay, I was going to say, if I just finally got back here and then I just wrecked, I would have been so salty with myself. But we have a chance, still to get a pretty decent... Re oh, my God. I think it's a decent result. Whether you believe it to be true or not, is still possible here we go again for another pass for ninth place hold on we're drag racing down the straightaway who's gonna get it it's gonna be me up in the p9 we go and let's hope that we can stop crashing finally we're not even that far behind still which is uh pretty uh crazy to think with all the times of crash including that one like why like are you kidding me but nonetheless if we didn't crash so many times we probably get a, a win there, you know? That's the frustrating part is it's not the game, it's me. I suck. Uh, we just gotta stop crashing. That's what we gotta do. I mean, after all this time we played so far and I'm still so, so bad. That's all of the races, I believe, or is there one more? I can't remember. Let's take a look. No, that is all of them. So eight of eight have been completed so now um we have to actually go and do uh you see the black and yellow uh icons there so it is uh let's see what it's called here does You're it say here we go you just need to make it through the last qualifying session of the season to access the official tt race event you must set your best lap time within the time shown in the info panel within the time shown in the info panel Where's the info panel of the time shown? Here we go. This is... Uh, oh, I don't think it actually... I don't think you have to set... Oh, time to beat. Oh, Lord. 19 minutes. So it looks like it's a 19-minute circuit-ish. Yeah, I'm screwed. All right, then. Here we go. The moment we've been all, well, waiting for. We have to beat 19 minutes right here. Uh, that's scary to think that I'm going to be here for 19 minutes trying to do this whole length of a circuit so this is i guess the full isle of man circuit that we're doing at this point but yeah we got to beat 19 minutes to actually qualify for the race just to qualify for the race then we got to do it all over again in an actual race format so we're doing the whole circuit and i'm not gonna make you guys sit through the whole thing obviously i might just kind of do like sped up i probably did a sped up thing like a time lapse almost quote unquote a couple times already uh but yeah it's gonna be very 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 lengthy here and we got to do it in the final episode as well for the actual race the final episode is literally just going to be one race because it is it's a lengthy race isle of man it's no joke it's a long one so uh yeah i mean we'll see what we can do we got to qualify to get in i would prefer to do this uh in one attempt so i'm going to play it quite safe and try to not you know get into any accidents because i'm confident that if we just don't crash the bike we'll beat the 19 minutes I, I bet you we can probably crash it a couple times and i'm hopeful that's the case uh because i have crashed but i'm gonna shut up and let you guys just kind of watch the little like time lapse here of qualifying if i decide to show that um but either way settle in let's see what happens
Alright, we're about the halfway point now. Not quite, but the timing's gonna be pretty close. If we're hitting nine minutes for the first half, I mean, we're gonna be, what, 18 minutes? But the question is, how many errors are we going to make and whatnot? This is gonna be close. It's gonna be difficult, but as long as we keep doing what we're doing, we might be okay. Oh my god, what's going on with the textures over here? Are you guys seeing this? Oh my goodness. Oh, I crashed. Oh my god, it's the first time I've crashed in like five minutes. Oh my god, we're gonna make it barely by less than a minute. We're gonna make it by it's 19 minute to beat. We're gonna do an 1808. 1808. Holy crap. Okay, we have qualified at least. We will take that. So we're not even dead last either, the boys. Look at that B16. We actually beat somebody in qualifying. Um, I have made some upgrades to the bike by the way uh but i believe we should be i don't know if we have to do uh the second qualifying or not because we've already beat the first one so i think we're okay so i think we're qualified in so uh i guess we did not actually qualify uh so there was a second one where we had to do another 18 minute run uh, i sim or not simulated I skipped it uh because you know it said we had to be 18 minutes and qualify for the race but apparently that's not the case and you can't attempt it again i think the only way you can actually do it again is if you restart no start season but you would have to go literally to the back of it so you would have to restart and do the whole season over again are you serious right now all right well we still have one more episode we're gonna do but i have an idea we just basically uh did the qualifying session there in a heartbreaking fashion but I know what we're going to do for the final episode uh, as there is a way we can uh, kind of work around this. So if you guys enjoyed, 
you know what to do. I'll see you guys in the final episode. Have a great day, everybody.